We're going over the installation of a commercial washing machine. This particular machine is a Speed Clean SC40 MD2. First, you're going to have to bolt your machine to the ground. We highly recommend using an elevated steel base. These machines use a gravity drain system. There's no pump. So it's critical that you get the drain pipe coming out of the back of your machine slightly higher than the drain pipe in your floor. We have bases and hardware kits on our website. Custom size bases can be made to order. Uh, what you're going to want to do is get your base in position, mark all your holes with spray paint, move the base out of the way to drill the holes, put the base back in position, fill the holes with epoxy, put your threaded rods in and let it dry. Once these are dry, you can go ahead and tighten everything down. Once this is dry and tight, you can put your machine on top of it and secure that with regular bolts and nuts. Uh, it's really important that you use 5 eighths. Don't go any smaller. These machines do shake a lot, and if you have a small bolt in this hole, it will shift around. Once you have your machine mounted securely, you can hook water up. It's pretty straightforward. Hot and cold here. Just make sure you use new gaskets and new screens. The screens will protect the diaphragms in your valves and will last a lot longer. Finally, with electrical, it's critical you verify whether or not you have a three-phase machine. Right here, phase three. For that, you're going to need three-phase power. To verify that at your panel, make sure your circuit breakers have three poles. That's three poles on one lever. If your panel looks like this and all of your breakers just have one pole, you only have single phase power and your machine will not work. Once you've verified that you have three phase power and you've hooked up L1, L2, and L3, you can verify you have correct voltage with a meter. Make sure L1 to ground is 110 to 120, L2 to ground is 110 to 120, L3 to ground is 110 to 120, or if you're using a phase generator, it could be 220 by itself. Now it's critical that you have correct three-phase power hooked up to these machines. They will not work without it.